Welcome back to the channel Arbaz here. In this video, I will be showing you how you can make your own voice assistant, uh, which will be like performing your many tasks uh, with uh, some voice commands. So, uh, in this video, I will be showing you how you can make your own Jarvis AI assistant, or you can name it uh, whatever you want. So, let's get started with the video. Please make sure you have subscribed to the channel and also press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. So let's get started with the video. Right, for making this uh, Jarvis AI assistant, you will be needing a uh, Python install on your system and also this uh, VS Code IDE which I am using. You can use any other IDE also for uh, making this uh, program. Um, in this uh, video I will be showing you the step by step process how you can make your own uh, personal assistant so first of all uh, you need to install uh, these two dependencies so I will be uh, leaving a uh, card on the i button so you can go to that video and install uh, both of these uh, software and after that uh, we will be installing some libraries which we need to uh, have uh, on our system to like make this uh, Jarvis AI assistant or you can name it uh, whatever you want so let's uh, go to the command palette and uh, try to install some packages which we will need for the uh, the Jarvis assistant so first we will install we will type pip install virtual env so uh, you have to install uh, this package on your system uh, so what it will do is uh, like you can create a virtual environment in which you can uh, install all the packages you need so you can make a virtual environment for this Jarvis AI project and uh, I will be uh, sharing the github link for this project in the description of the video so you can go there and like uh, access the virtual environment which I have created and you can download that code and use it on your system as well so after installing virtual env uh, we will be cre creating a virtual environment for our Jarvis AI project so let's go and create uh, the virtual environment So it will be creating a separate Python environment for our specific project. So it is a good use for uh, anyone who is uh, like uh, into Python programming. So they can use this uh, um, um, package for making a separate virtual environment for their projects. So it is like installing the Python packages and after which uh, we will like install the other dependencies for this project like a uh, pytttsx3 which is used for the python to text to speech uh, kind of a thing and also speech recognition which will be used for recognizing the speech uh, to jarvis and like uh, it can hear our voice virtual environment is been created so now we will uh, go into our virtual environment and uh, try to activate the virtual environment so we will type uh, activate uh, by going into the folder which is a uh, Jarvis which we have uh, created uh, for our virtual environment and also uh, into the folder which is called scripts and we will type activate and it will like uh, give us uh, uh, activated that uh, virtual environment as you can see we are in Jarvis and uh, we are in the virtual environment so we will go one directory back and now first of all we will try to install some uh, dependencies for uh, our uh, virtual environment uh, for our Jarvis project so we will type pip install pytttsx3 so it will be used for uh, converting the text to speech so let, let uh, this package be installed and if you're downloading it from the github link so you don't need to install all these things you just need to activate the virtual environment and after that you can uh, directly access this uh, project into your computer system and you don't need to install all these packages for that so let it get installed so we have successfully installed the pipe uh, ttsx3 library so it will help us to convert the 
python text to speech uh, thing so let's move on and try to install the speech recognition module uh, so now we will install the speech recognition module so we will write speech recognition and the s and the r in that will be capital so after that it will try to install this library into our system and i think it has uh, successfully install the library into our system so let's uh, try to import these uh, both both of these uh, libraries into our project so we will type import pi tt sx3 and you can see it is uh, showing us on the pop-up so it is successfully installed so uh, let's try to import speech module so we will write speech underscore recognition and we will import it as sr so we have created an object for this so let's move on and first of all we will try to like um, do uh, some things in this so we will type uh, engine equals pi ttsx3 dot in it and we will initialize the object here so uh, we can uh, get the voices from uh, this so we will be using the sappy5 voice for this so we will type sappy5 and after that we will type voices equals engine dot get property and in that we will pass the voices and we will try to get the engine and we will set the properties for this so we will get type engine dot set property and we will pass the voices and as well as the voices dot id which is equals to zero so there are basically two voices available on this uh, thing so we can get any one of this so we will type voice comma voices zero dot id voices and we will type zero dot id and after which we will be successfully getting the uh, set devices for this so now we will uh, try to do something with the the voice so first of all we will define a function uh, speak so the speak function uh, will be used to uh, get the output from the computer and we will give it as audio so it will be giving us an audio output for this so we will uh, define engine dot say in that we will pass the audio parameter and after that uh, we will type engine dot run and wait so it will be waiting for getting the audio from the thing so after that we will try to uh, call this speak function and try to get some voice from the assistant and try to see what it can do with the speak function so we will type speak speak and we will give it something so it will tell this line welcome back so let's try to run the program and see it in action so let me type python javis.py so i think i am getting some I need to go back to that uh, previous folder in which our script is and we will type python 
chavis dot py dot py and we will try to run this uh, Jarvis and let's see so guys finally I have uh, solved the error so let's try to run the program and see the output of the program so it should say welcome back so let's try to run this welcome back so as you can see the Jarvis assistant has said us uh, welcome back so let's try to uh, do something with this so first of all we will uh, try to import one module from uh, python which is import time so we will import this module and we will like uh, try to uh, say the Jarvis uh, what is the current time and it can show us the what is the time uh, right now so I think we have to import date time module and it will uh, tell us the current time uh, for uh, uh, what is uh, currently in the time so let's try to define another function which we will try to get the um, we will define the name as time and after that in that we will add this uh, speak line and and it will say welcome back and it will show us the time so for getting the time we will create an variable time which will be equals to date time date time dot date time date time dot date time and dot now so it will get the current uh, time and we will be um, getting it into the form of dot str f time and in the brackets we will pass uh, in what format we want the time so first of all we will be getting the hour time so we will type i colon percentage m and colon seconds percentage s so after this it will like uh, give us the time so we will first of all try to print the uh, time so if we are getting some error so we can find out what is the error so now we will save the program and try to run it again so it is showing some error so i have imported the uh, wrong module so let's try to run it again so it is not giving us any output i think so let's try again and let me try to figure it out what is the problem with this thing and we have created two functions but we have not called them yet so first of all we will need to call this time function and after that it will call that uh, run Welcome this part and it is showing us the time so we will try to speak uh, uh, up from the getting this time from the Jarvis itself so for that uh, we will create we will write some lines uh, so the Jarvis can speak the time so we will type speak in that uh, we will give it as f string and now uh, we will what uh, he will say is the current time is current time is and after that we will pass uh, the time in str so str time so let's try to str time so let's try to run this again and see welcome back so that is some error I am getting so let me try to figure it out so what was the problem I don't know so 
let's try to remove this str so let's try again welcome back the current time is 1 hour 22 minutes and 21 seconds so guys as you can see it is successfully telling us the time so uh, i think this is a for this is enough for this video so i will be creating more videos regarding this uh, javis ai assistant so if you are not subscribed to our channel so please make sure you have subscribed to the channel and also press the bell icon i will be also making uh, more videos in future uh, which will be uh, regarding this Jarvis AI project so I will be creating an entire series on this and if I get a good response so I will be making um, an entire series on the Jarvis AI project and we will be creating and integrating this Jarvis AI assistant with our Raspberry Pi and Arduino or ESP8266 and show you how you can automate your entire house or entire room using this uh, Jarvis AI assistant so that was it for this video and thanks for watching the video please share this video with your friends if you like this and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon thanks for watching the video i will see you in the next one